Greetings, I'm Demonac, and it's arena time. Okay, new arena run, and I think it's a while since I've played a mage. You asked for it. I think I actually like Shaman even better for the arena, but I I've played a lot of Shaman lately. Doomsayer and two giants. You are a bad giant, I don't care. I know some decks take advantage of their like naturally not playing cards and or just sit there and draw cards with the warlock, but I don't care. He's like crappy. Uh Sea Giant can work out. I mean it's not a too normal situation, but it can happen more in the arena than it would in constructed, that you have a lot of minions in play on both sides. And Doomsayer Doomsayer's too weird and he makes me play badly. Because you have to play around him differently and it just messes you up. So no, I'm gonna take the Sea Giant. He's fairly solid. Uh you guys are all actually pretty good. I really, I'm really tempted to take the Brewmaster, but these the Mana Worm is such a strong first turn play for the Mage that you kind of have to take it. Ooh, really good fat Scarlet Crusader at Kona Cold is. I can't turn down a Kona Cold. It's pretty hard. And similarly, Blizzard in the arena, Blizzard can do a lot of winning. Now, I don't want your Doomsayer. I do appreciate the bonus epic, but <clears throat> Big Game Hunter could get rid of some really big problems. I'm tempted to take the Spellbender because it's so awesome. Like, if it steals an enemy buff, it's awesome. And even if it, and otherwise, it still, it does like the Paladin, it does like a Noble Sacrifice where it jumps in the way of an enemy spell, saving one of your other minions. I'd love to take the Spellbender, but I think the Big Game Hunter is more what I get you're going to need. I think they're, those big things will come up, and I'm going to want them dead. Plus, it's a four. It, he's still... His stats are not distributed the way you'd like, but he's still got good, like a good amount of stats for three mana. It's fine. So you are good for instant killing your opponent. Uh, I'm a mage, and I'm a little concerned that I might want the taunt. I don't have a lot of minions yet. And this isn't really as a minion as much as like a killing thing. So I think I'm going to take the Bodyguard. No, I, I'm going to take the Torn Warrior. I'm a mage. I can trigger his Enrage, so they have to deal with him in a severe manner. Um, How do you guys? I want the Ventricle Mercenary, though. I know that I said I want a Taunt, but he's bigger. Um, these are all good. I'm going to take the Arcane Missiles, because I might get one of those crazy Man Worm starts. Uh... Keeps giving me some. Uh, this is another crazy start card, but I, unlike my cons unlike a constructed mage deck, I can't just top load it with all the cheap cards. Like if I had a bunch of mirror images and arcane missiles, this would be fantastic. But I don't have those yet, so flame strike is more likely to get massive card advantage and win the game. Well, I'm glad I got the bonus epics because not a, not a lot of selection here. This guy's fun. Like, he's a 1-2, and he's almost, his ability is almost as good as the Acid Ooze. They're, most of the weapons you see have two durability, and they play them and use it once. So usually this actually just blows up your opponent's weapon, but you're garbage, and you're actually a really good card, so I'm going to take you. It still wasn't what I wanted to be looking at there. Okay, it's really hard not to take the Frostbolt, and it goes well with the, with the Mana Worm, and just... Killing stuff in general is amazing. I think I'm going to take the Gurubashi Berserker for an arena mage, because the mage can obviously abuse his thing, and I am going to need some minions here. I'm probably going to get all minions from now on. <coughs> Overpriced, junk, you can kill stuff. Keeps feeding me all these things. My deck's going to be so slow if I have all, like, flame strikes and blizzards. But on the other hand, I can kill everything with all the flame strikes and blizzards. The War Golem could also be really slow. I already have some Berserker, the Mercenary, and the Siege Giant. That's a lot of fat. I'm going to take the flame strike because, I don't know. I don't really want any more flame strikes and blizzards, though. This is awesome. I might end up taking another one if it comes because I don't know how I can turn it down, but... I'm definitely not going to have this stuff to freeze my opponent's champion, so th without the combos, this is like a weak card. Uh, Fairy Dragon is a good early play. The Mad Bomber killing stuff could work out, but I'd rather take the reliable Fairy Dragon. Okay, I need some solid middle stuff. I'm just trying to decide, this guy's a little bit more expensive. I'd rather have cheaper things like the Dark Iron. 
and he's amazing. But this is a lot of meat for the mana. I, I feel like this deck is getting too high casting cost. I'm going to take the Dark Iron Dwarf, I guess. I'd rather have this overhand knight, kind of, but I need the cheaper things. Now, he he has taunt, so he's still tempting there, but... I'm going to take the Wolf Rider. He can kill stuff. Uh, Fairy Dragon or Mana Worm? Mana Worm. I have a fair amount of spells, actually, and it's such a good first turn play. I don't like this secret. I... I can see using it, but only in combination with other stuff, mostly other secrets that I don't have. Fireball, I, oh, I need the fireball, but because I don't have a lot of stuff to actually kill my opponent with burn. But Acolyte of Pain could draw me a bunch of cards. Because ah, I'm a mage. Like, I, I, I used to like him more with other classes. Mostly he's just sort of like a major warrior thing. Because they're the classes that can damage their own guy and get some, and warrior can get something out of it. Whereas the mage just like can do it on command. Like five mana play, like you play the acolyte and then you shoot him to draw a card, and now your opponent still wants to keep deal with him really fast, because otherwise next turn you could shoot him and draw another card and still draw a third one when he finally dies. I don't have the fireballs though, I think I have to take the fireball. Damn it. Epics or epics? Um, so Anixia is like the worst dragon. If I had less fat in my deck, then I would probably still take her. She's not the worst dragon, but she's she's one of the dragons that's not good. If I didn't have a bunch of fat stuff in my deck, I'd probably still want to take her as a finisher. But I've got Sea Giant, Ventrico, Gurubashi, and of course, three high-cost kill-everything cards. So I'm not as worried about that. God damn, this is tough choice. Antonidas is obviously the mage one. He, like, if you get him out and you have an, even one other spell in your hand, and I have, enough, I have a lot of spells, so I should be able to get one. This, this is pretty much a game winner, especially in the arena. Like, that is one hell of a finisher. <clears throat> because you cast like you cast that one arcane missiles or you play him in the next turn you flame strike whatever if he stayed alive that long that card turns it whatever card you cast you get back as a fireball and then when you cast that fireball you get it back as a fireball so he just lets you chain fireball your opponent to death the drawback being that he costs 7 so you can't fireball right away but still if you can play him and at least cast one other spell that is not completely useless just like Arcade missiles or something. Then you get a fireball. He's already been pretty awesome because they still have to get rid of a five seven. Like that's great stats. And you still have a fire got a fireball out of the deal. So the Tink Master has been reworked since the uh, beta. I haven't messed around with him yet because I didn't have him. But man, he's he's a three three for three now. They increase his size because his ability is random now. I mean, it was already random, but it was targeted random before. Now it's really random. It seems like he transforms anyone other than himself into either a 1-1 or a 5-5. You don't get to pick anything about how it goes off. But if your opponent only has... If, if you play him... you If you have no minions and your opponent has one, you play this guy and you might nerf their minion, and you're guaranteed to silence their minion. Because even if they even if their guy gets turned into a 5-5... Okay, that sucks, but they lose their special abilities if they had important special abilities, if they had enchantments, stuff like that should all be gone. <sighs> he's tempting for construction. I think I have to take the Archmage because he's one of those game winners, but I need to speed up my deck. And you know what? I'm not taking a second Blizzard. It seems insane, but I have crazy stuff for that stage of the game. I need to live to that stage of the game. I think I'm going to need the Sun Fury Protector. I also need more minions that I can Sun Fury Protector, but any of my big ones, this would be good. If I have 7 mana, I go Gurubashi Sun Fury. That's pretty good. She's just still a 2-3 two, for 2. She's always good. I really hate to turn down a Blizzard like it's insane, 
but my deck's going to be too slow for the universe. I have ten cards left after this, though. If I can use those ten cards to bring down the casting cost curve of my deck, it'd be great. But I need more efficiency, because even a lot of the cheap stuff I have is not super efficient. I've got a couple of charge guys. I just don't have that many cheap minions. Ah, uh, can I get away with taking a blizzard? Like, if I just got up to that much mana, then I can just wipe everything all the time. I'm stupid. I'm going to take the blizzard. I don't know how I can not. Okay, this is great. This is the kind of stuff I need. Normally, the Raging Worgen would be just like, so. But I'm wondering almost if I should take the Shattered Sun Clear because I need to buff other things. I guess I have to take the Raging Worgen because I'm a mage because if they don't deal with him, I can just shoot him and trigger him off myself. No, I'm not reliant on them to have the right size of minion for him to kill and go and go berserk. Mirror image, yes. We need so many mirror images. Uh, that's getting a little tougher because, like, the card... I have them in mirror image now. The drawing a card is really good. My deck's kind of slow, though. Drawing lots of cards. If I already had all my mirror images, then the Cult Master would be awesome. But no, I just need the mirror images. I really need to live until I can, oh my god, blizzard everything. If I take another blizzard... My deck is going to be so stupidly expensive, but on the other hand, every time you cast a blizzard, you basically time walk. So that's the old Magic the Gathering card, where you just it just says, take another turn after this one. That's basically what you've done, except you're also killing their minions. The Violet Teacher, though, would be really solid minion. You, would, you know what? I already have so much of this stuff. Even though having more blizzards would be funny, it's a stupid idea now. I, I shouldn't, probably shouldn't have taken the other one. I definitely should not take this one. The Violet Teacher, I have lots of spells, so I can maybe get more than 3-5 out of her. And a 3-5 for 4 is still fine stats. That's solid mid-range stuff that I need to survive. Um, you're really tempting, but I'm actually so slow that I just want the mirror images. Now I have lots of mirror images, so I'm actually thinking the Sorcerer's Apprentice pretty good. I don't like the Rifleman that much anyway. Why not? And, ah. Uh, Dragonling mechanic would be really good, but Fireball is really good. He is very expensive taunt. I don't really want that in here. Even as much as taunt would be useful now. She gives a Yeti worth of stats, although it's split up more. It's a little bit easier to take care of them piecemeal. She gives a Yeti worth of stats for 4 mana. This can blow up a Yeti for 4 mana. I don't have the Polymorphs. I do need to deal with big things. I mean, Blizzard is fine, but... Oh, man. I don't know what I should do. I do have a lot more mirror images to keep me alive now, which makes me very happy. I'm so much more confident in the deck after getting three mirror images that I had than when I had zero. I've, I, I've got finishers. I think what I need is the dragon lane. I need more stats to put out on the board. You guys are very expensive, though. This is cheaper. Even though he's tough and he's hard to stop. This this cheapness goes along well with my Mana Worms and the other stuff. It gives me a chance to have those constructed deck-style early Crazy Mage starts. This is a bonus rare. My next card is also a rare, because my next card is the last one. Do I have enough cheap stuff to trigger the Questing Adventure? I probably do. That could be pretty sick, but Counterspell is also amazing. People don't see it as often, because it's rare, especially in the arena. But, goddamn, the Counterspell. Like, when so, when you play a spell... You need that crap to go off. Like, when you play a minion, you kind of expect something's going to happen to it. That's that's their job. That's why they're called minions. Not like... Comrades. But... Counter, when, you, when you counter somebody's spell, that messes them up. They're counting on those spells to do something. On the other hand, I wanted more meat. So questing Adventurer... Questing Adventurer, Mirror Image, Arcane Missile. 4-4. 
there's some potential for craziness there. I don't know. And it's like any card, too. Like, other cards work. My deck's very controlly. I think though, if I'm playing this, I'm not playing a minion. That's the problem. Like late game, yeah, it's great. I think I need this. I think I need to take this guy instead. What do we have? Holy, that is a hard choice. He would help me more with my early game because he's a three-three for three, and I don't have much stuff. Plus, he can. His his ability is never going to come up. I would. I mean, it could, but. It shouldn't be something I need to worry about because I have two flame strikes and two blizzards and a cone of cold. A freaking obnoxious mage. The Azure Drake gives me spell damage and he draws a card to replace itself. The Abomination has Taunt, which I need, and the AoE is awesome. I do have a lot of mirror images that he would wipe out, though. I think that drawing a card is better. There's a good chance I draw a mirror image. So, sold. Wow, this is going to be interesting. I think I like this deck a little bit too much, so it's going to fail. Also, very expensive cards in it. Now, I've evened it out. The casting cost curve has did even out. Those last ten cards were actually really great. Like, they, it gave me stuff that was good that, f that fit in with what I needed. Jane versus Valera. But what? I know that I'm going to annoy someone you with all my expensive boy. stuff, but I'm still a little worried about the speed. I'm going to pitch all of these and hope I get cheaper things. Yeah, okay. He's not coming out for a while, but this is... I can work with this. The other reason to pitch all that stuff... I should almost pitch all this stuff anyway, just because it, I have the chance in this deck for some ridiculous, unstoppable, like, beatdown starts. Just absurd mana worm mirror image BS or the uh, or the gnome apprentice or whatever his name is. Okay, uh, that makes total sense. Like, yeah, he doesn't get an ability. But that's one of the reasons she's good. She's also a two three for two. You get that croc, and this that's what she needs right now. Um, I'm gonna play this one because he can actually kill that. So, I mean, yeah, she could just, like, stab him first and then finish him, but whatever. He he seems like a really good way to respond to this. I mean, I could have frostbolted her, but we want to. That's unfortunate. Not thrilled about that. Hit me directly? Really? That was so stupid! Okay, I'm I'm sorry. You're you're obviously new to the game and I shouldn't make fun of you, but you've made a tremendous error. Like mind bogglingly bad. Like I could do I already had a good turn. I would have been like fairy dragon, frostbolt, and would have been fine. But now I can just put out a taunt and beat the living crap out of her. All she had to do was take the three damage, hit this guy, kill him, and then hit me for two. And I wouldn't have this thing. The end is coming! Okay. You gotta protect him somehow, because this guy can just one-shot him. Like, in one turn. If you hit this, it's gonna get bigger. Do you have a plan for... Oh, no, that's right. I forgot, yeah, I forgot that was the three attack weapons. My bad. You're still, like, not in the ideal situation. I don't think there's any... I don't think I should let him go off. He he is going to eat all this guy's attacks for one turn, but hopefully she has to, like, stab him to get rid of him. We'll see. Hmm. Yeah, I mean, I could Frostbolt or something, but yeah, it doesn't make sense. <laughs> Um, I can't put out a taunt, but you know, if I put out the questing adventure and then frostbolt her, she's going to be down to half, and she won't be able to attack next turn, so this guy's got a better chance of surviving then. I wonder. This is probably a dumb play, but let's do it. 
That's like my answer to everything today. This is this is probably stupid. So sounds like a plan. I mean, she could take she could kill him and only take four damage. Now her health is lower, and she doesn't have that option. No matter what weapon she plays, she does have the charge. Really, boo. Does she have a way to finish him too, or can I at least like get some stuff going on? So the frost bolt didn't pay off. Ready to ride. Really? Wow. Okay. Fair enough. You win that round. Oh, interesting. I think I might want to save him. No, no, I don't. I want her to like. Yeah, no, I'm just gonna beat her down. Whatever. Ready to ride. Taste my So if she stabs him, then that's a, then he did six damage for three mana. Better than a fireball. Okay, okay. he's going to be used defensively. She's got to kill this stuff. You should really have killed this one and, and, and then stabbed him. Unless you have a plan. Now here's the question, do I just play Antonidas, oh, so I'm going to play Antonidas either way. Do I play him and trade to try and protect him, or do I play him and go for the damage, because then she's still got to get rid of him. She can't, she's not going to kill me, it'll make it a lot easier for her to get rid of him, because she can trade this and only have to do like three more damage, and I won't get any spells out of him. But... Should be down to ten. On the other hand, I haven't got a single mirror image yet. I've got three mirror images and an arcade missile. I could draw one of those next turn, about one in five chance. So I could save him. I could just play the Gurubashi and sh trade and just like shoot him. Because it's about as hard for a rogue to do six damage as seven, and he might eat an assassinate, Not and his attack would be high enough that daggering him would hurt. I might do that. May He's one of those plans that could definitely win the game, but it feels like I'm hedging my bets by just take it slow, clear the board. If I can get him and a one co if I can get a one cost card to play with him next turn, then I get a free fireball. In which case it won't even matter if she manages to take him out somehow. Really? Because yeah, she wasn't going to use that on him, not at 13 health, but he can do eight damage a turn. Man of that is not what he was looking for. I play the Mana Worm, and I can still play the Sea Giant, so I guess we're not going Anto Antonius this game. It does mean I'm not shooting him, so I'm doing three less damage this turn, but that's a lot of stuff to deal with. Now, am I worried about some kind of crazy Murloc tech? I don't think so. Like, hitting him would make this guy bigger for next round. It would leave nothing on the board. So I would definitely have her dead next round, unless he could apocalypse these gigantic forces I have. He would still have five health. I wonder. If I hit for five, though, she's at eight. She's got to kill that. She's got to kill this, or I can make it bigger. She might not see that. That is a pretty big blade. That's not really helping. Uh, let, let, let's go board control. What what what's a rogue gonna do that's gonna kill th like this many creatures that are this large? She could poison, double poison this, and then th throw her weapon. That would that'd be seven. It wouldn't even kill him. Oh, yeah, fair enough. I, I think that last turn, either way, was equally valid. Because that, that's how bad her position was. 
All right, so it's good to get off to a winning start. But see how this one goes. It's going to be interesting next time. If you like this, please click the eponymous button. And don't forget to subscribe to Demon Knight Games for more Hearthstone Arena and other gaming videos.